Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing Add Coder Beginner Contest 232 Problem B Solution. So let's read the problem statement. Says it's Siphon. Takashaka has string S consisting of lowercase English letters. On this string he will do the operation below just once. First choose a non-negative integer k, then shift each character of S to the right by k. So A shifted to the right by 1 is B, B shifted to the right by 1 is C, etc, etc, and Z shifted to the right by 1 is A. Now focus on this one because we're gonna come back to it later. Okay, so basically you're given two strings and all you gotta do is see if there exists a positive integer K that if you shift the first string by it, you will get the second string. Now, a very obvious solution to this problem is to just check the difference between the characters of two strings, of the two strings, and if the differences are inconsistent, then you're just gonna say no, and if they are consistent, then you're gonna say yes. Let's see how this looks in code. So you have the two strings, alright, and then we see on the two strings. I'll come back to this part later. And basically we loop over it and we see if the difference has changed over the string or not basically checking if it's consistent if it's not consistent then we're gonna say no however if it is consistent we're gonna say yes but here's a problem sometimes there's gonna be something called wrapping around what do I mean by that well here we have all of the English alphabet and A shifted to the one to the right by one is B, C shifted to the right by one is D, and etc. But how about if I said Z shifted to the one to the right by one? Well, there's no other letter in the alphabet other than C, you know, this is the last letter. So it's gonna wrap around all the way back to become an A. Now this is important because if we just let our code the way we coded the last time, it's gonna fail in this test case. Because Z minus a is going to give you like negative 25 or a minus z is going to give you negative 25 so how do you fix this wrap here, wrapping around well the solution is simple all we gotta do is check if the value is negative if the difference is negative then we turn it into positive then we make it 26 which is the total number of alphabets uh, of letters in the alphabet minus the actual difference and then by doing so this is going to normalize the, um, the the wrapping around and fix this problem. For example, let's run our code and try something. X, Y, and Z. Okay, we're gonna shift X by one. We're gonna be Y, and X, and then one on Z, and then A. So our code says yes, which is the correct answer, because there is some wrapping around. So basically, the difference between X and Y is one. Between Y and Z is 1. Between Z and, and A is also 1. Okay. So, let's start running the code bit by bit by ourselves to kind of understand it better. So, first we make the difference of the first characters of the two strings. Okay. So, the first character in the second string is Y and the first character is uh, X. So, Y minus X is going to give you 1, which is good. Okay. So we don't need to process, uh, to process this code part over here. Then we loop on the rest of the characters of the two strings. Okay, y minus um, z minus y is gonna give you one, which is good. Okay, but then we're gonna say a minus z. This is the problem. This is where the wrapping around happens. So it's gonna give us negative twenty-five, which is which um, if we didn't include this part of the code right here, our program would think that they are inconsistent and is going to say no, while actually it's going to, it's supposed to say yes. Because, you know, z plus 1, you know, wrapped, uh, shifted to the right by 1 is going to be an a. So, all we gotta do is, if it is negative, which right now it is, it's negative 25, we're gonna multiply it by negative 1, which is going to to make it a positive value, you know, negative 25 times negative 1 is going to make it 25 a positive value, okay? And then we're going to make 26 minus 25 is going to give you a 1, which is correct. They are just 1. 
um, you know, the difference between Z and A is just one. And so our um, program outputs a correct result. So if you just go ahead now, copy our code and judge it on add coder. And see if it works. It's gonna yield us an accepted result. So yeah, this was today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and the link to the code will be in the description. And see you later.